The idea that the COVID-19 pandemic is leading to more deaths is not just a theory, it is fact. And joining us live now is Garrett Stenson with Core Medical Clinic. Uh, Garrett, first of all, a lot of people are going to be surprised when they see this story tonight. They're, they, they're not going to have heard of these fake fentanyl pills. They didn't know they exist and that they take the place of legitimate medications on the street. Give us a sense of how widespread this is. Well, um, for instance, uh, we've had our highest amount of emissions um, in the last three months involving these M30 counterfeit pills. Um, so it's really prevalent and there's been a couple local busts, uh, one in Fresno and in, one in Placer County that will hopefully disrupt the supply chain um, and people can access treatment. This is a very treatable disease. Um, unfortunately, only about 10% that suffer from opioid addiction um, actually receive treatment. So, uh, Garrett, you mentioned something there. You, you talked talk about M30 pills. What exactly is that? Um, so they're supposed to be 30 milligram blue round oxycodone hydrochloride pills. Um, but now when you're getting them, if you're not getting them directly from a pharmacy, you pretty much need to expect that they're going to have fentanyl in them. Um, and again, fentanyl, it can be 50 times to 1,000 times more potent than heroin. So we're talking about something, if someone doesn't have tolerance to opioids, um, like you're seeing on some of these stories that ran before, people just don't have the tolerance and it, and it drops people like flies. Local heroin purity rates are usually between 12 to 16%. Um, so when fentanyl or even high pure heroin um, comes into town, people unfortunately do start dropping like flies. And Garrett, we just showed our viewers what these pills look like, these M30s. What should everyone assume to be true about this drug? Well, again, if you're not getting them directly from a pharmacy, um, expect them to have fentanyl in them. Fentanyl is highly potent. It takes just a little amount of fentanyl to get you super high. Um, you know, the higher um, you get, the more addictive it is, the more intense drug cravings you're going to get, what's going to you know, lead to repeated use, which is going to lead to addiction. Um, and these M these M30 pills, like I'd say, most of our admissions that are coming in that are using the M30 pills have had multiple overdoses, um, and have, have to been revived by either emergency medical personnel, Narcan, um, or rescue breathing. So, unfortunately, they're still with us. And as you saw earlier tonight, there's many that are not. Um, and our heart really goes out to to those families that have. Um, had to uh, go through this terrible tragedy, tragedy that's all too common these days. Garrett, very quickly, one last question. Um, in your experience, how has COVID-19 impacted this number of overdoses and fentanyl-related deaths? Well, we have an increase in isolation, depression, and anxiety, which can all be triggers to drug use. We had our highest amount of overdoses in 2020 of all time, 83,000 plus overdoses. 36,000 overdoses in fentanyl in 2019. Um, that number will certainly increase in 2020 once the statistics are tabulated. I would guess it'd be well over 50,000 um, due to the increased supply that we've seen in fentanyl recently in California. All right, Garrett Stenson, thanks so much for your expertise. We appreciate it.